Thanks for watching Living Local. You guys are in for a treat today because we are in Hartsville visiting Kalmia Gardens and we're gonna meet with Dan who's gonna show us around. So this is the Thomas Hart House. It is the oldest house in the city of Hartsville. It was built in 1820 by Thomas Hart, which means this being 2020, this is our bicentennial. We are, the house is 200 years old. So come on in. Thanks, what a big door. That is a large door. That's called a casket door. Back in Thomas Hart's days, they didn't have funeral homes. So the doorways were large enough for men to be able to carry a casket in and out of the home. Makes sense. And you were saying that Hartsville is named after Thomas Hartsville Hart? is named after Thomas Hart. Okay. He was very industrious in the area. He has the Hart House here, and he also has the Hart Cottage in downtown Hartsville. Okay. But this was the uh, the farmhouse. He was a. Uh, he <laughs> this was, was a, the farmhouse. This is a, a nice farmhouse. This is a very nice farmhouse indeed. There is no admission fee to come visit the gardens, wow. but you do need to call ahead if you'd like to see the house so okay. we can just schedule some time. Okay. And yeah, the house is available for rentals. You can have weddings here. We host a lot of weddings. We host a lot of fundraising events. Um, bridal showers, portraits, just you name it, and we are accommodating to everyone we can. We actually just had a massive remodel to get ready to celebrate our bicentennial. So we did painting, we redid the sconches, we redid the floors, okay. so pretty much from top to bottom, the whole house was given a good work over. This is part of Kalmia Gardens, so the house is part of that, and this is owned by Coker University? Absolutely, we are Kalmia Gardens of Coker University. Okay. And we are a 35 acre public garden. I have summer camps, we do in the spring, we do an oyster roast fundraiser. Fun. I write a lot of grants. <laughs> and we just, we try and think outside of the box to find different ways to create revenue so we can keep our gates open. Sure. So we can be free to the public. So kind of walk me around here a little bit. What's, what do we have over here? Sure, this is uh, one of our parlors and something really neat in this parlor is our original deed. Oh wow! For the land from when we were, uh, this land was granted back from King George in 1772. 1772. That wow. is a really old, old document. I cannot believe you guys still have that. How neat is that? This couch over here, this is actually to period. This couch was handcrafted in 1820. Wow. And above the couch is Miss May. And Miss May started the garden. And this is her posing with her two favorite flowers. This is a camellia. The upper surface is full of blooms in the winter. If you come mm. here in the middle of the winter, you will see tons of flowers and they will all be our camellias. Wow. If you come back in the spring, we may see a few hanging on today. You see our namesake, Calmia latifolia, mountain laurel. Wow. And we'll see that in the gardens. And those are Miss May's two favorite flowers. That's pretty cool. And that's and what, what And what the gardens are named after. All right, so we've got a really nice dining area in here, and you can see on these uh, chairs the, what would this be called? I mean, it's just so Needle cool. Needlepoint of Calmia the... latifolia. Yeah, our namesake is, that is so neat. right there stitched into the chairs. And you said um, Miss May lived here for a while. Miss May did live here. She started the gardens, and um, she gave the property, the gardens, to the university. Actually, okay. it was a college back then, Coker College. And then when she left the house, she also donated the house to the, um, to to the, the college, university? to the university, yes. Cool. So around here, we have a picture of Miss May who started the gardens. Oh, neat. And that is her photograph right there. And if you look, it says, Calmia Gardens in the Gate, and there's actually flowers and leaves. Oh, that is so neat. She seems like a neat lady. Yeah, so we have the long streamer on the stairs that's one piece of wood, and just the craftsmanship of this house. This, uh, this fireplace heart was handmade, and they used a water-driven lathe to make these little wrinkles that's in the unique. heart. That's very unique. Would you like to go explore the garden? Yes, let's go. I'm super anxious to see the garden. All right, let's do this. It'll be fun. Stick with us on Living Local. There's a whole lot more to see right here at Kamiya Gardens.